It's time to get ready for Halloween adventure like no other as the birdcage transforms into an outdoor haunted house for the return of Fright Nights at the Creepy Cage. Joining me today to tell us more about it is John Gaskins. Ooh, <laughs> here we go. Spooky. This yeah. sounds like a great time. Talk, talk a little bit about it's it. It's a blast. I mean, you've been to the birdcage, oh, yeah. so you know how fun it is out there. But what a, what a prime space mm -hmm. to scare people. Yeah. Uh, and to just have a blast w with good weather that Dowden had just talked about. I mean, fairly good weather, just enough of a chill in the air to make things a little spookier. But I mean, you're talking about a 15 to 20 minute uh, maze through nooks and crannies and corridors of the birdcage. I mean, it's basically a tour of the birdcage, but we've turned it into a haunted house. And uh, there, it's so much fun. We don't want to give too much away about what to expect, but expect to be haunted. I mean, uh, we're going to have all kinds of interesting characters uh, to varying degrees of funny to scary to weird uh, at each and every turn, and you're not quite sure what's going to come next. That's the whole point. Some of this will be out in our field, but uh, this is going to go through things like our dugouts and uh, clubhouse and locker rooms. It won't look like it looks like during the baseball season. Um, it'll be uh, some dark, weird, scary rooms, but uh, I, I mean, I myself, uh, I mean, full disclosure, I'm, I'm not part of the staff putting this together and, and, and doing this, so I'm going to be going Ooh, like be I scared. did last year as a spectator, <laughs> yeah. and I can't wait. Oh yeah, you're gonna yeah. get. Maybe you'll get haunted a little bit. Uh, ooh, I can't. I want to. Oh, That's yeah. the whole point. <laughs> you're ready yes. for it. Yeah. Talk about some other events then. Well, uh, I'll just. Um, a few things that will be going on when you get there that's kind of unique yeah. and fun to the birdcage uh, is that uh, when you go to the west entrance, uh, you'll be able to buy your ticket there. We'll have beer, pretzels, candy, popcorn. Uh, did I say beer for the adults you can walk through? But yeah, I mean, it's, this is an example of how the birdcage has become a, an event place mm -hmm. for things beyond baseball. You saw the Little John concert. Uh, he made it official. Sioux Falls was crunked on uh, tacos <laughs> and tequila night in August. And this is the Pride Festival in June. And, you know, I mean, we've got so much great space mm -hmm. uh, to, to make this a uh, place for the community and fun events year round and well beyond the baseball season. And uh, I'd love to show you some images mm -hmm. of the creepy cage that we're turning the bird yes. cage into, but that would take away all the mystery and all the fun. Yeah, we can't, we yourself. can't give away everything and there's yeah. won't be as scary. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And yeah. talk a little bit about some other, you know, how the season's going and yeah. all that as well, a little update. I mean, it's, it, 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 this is like the first big thing that the staff pours its heart and soul into after the end of the baseball season. And you always hope the season ends in September, not August. If it's ending in September, which it did, that means you made the playoffs. You had a really good team. And uh, for this past year, I mean, the Birds had one of the best teams in the league. They had the best record in the league through the first half plus of the season. Still uh, made the playoffs, uh, gave the fans a lot of fun down the stretch. We won our playoff game. That was at home. We had some crowds like this, which we hadn't seen in a few years. Some of our biggest crowds. This is the highest attendance season we had had in over a decade. Uh, and you know, if, you, if you're out there, you know the experience is. There's all kinds of themes. There's all kinds of fun. Uh, we've debuted the big yellow chair out in the entrance like that. Uh, Sundays, the kids got to get autographs from the players. I mean, we just felt like, and there was Seinfeld night. Uh, I, I don't have time on TV to explain the context <laughs> of that. But uh, if you know, you know. But uh, it, was, it was a blast. And we were just kind of trying to build off of that and uh, right into the Fright Nights at the Creepy Cage mm -hmm. tonight and on into the 2025 season. Yeah, are people encouraged to dress up tonight for this? <laughs> the more the merrier, yes. Because I, I do know that, you know, the, the folks doing the spooking and the scaring, uh, you know, they, they want to be surprised as well. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's fun for them. Who's, who's, who's coming up? You know, who's, yeah. who's coming in this room? Who's, okay, <laughs> it's, uh, that's fun. Absolutely. Play, th I mean, the more you get into the, the theme of the mm -hmm. night, the, the better. So if you want to wear your Halloween costumes, you can. Uh, as the graphics showed not too long ago, you get this opportunity uh, tonight, 7 to 10, Saturday, 7 to 10, that's tomorrow night, and then next Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. 7 to 10. Um, in fact, on Saturday the 26th, that will be for the little kids. It will be back in 6 p.m. It will still be, I think, in broad daylight. So from 6 to 8 p.m., we'll have a more of a little kid-friendly haunted house, not mm -hmm. quite as scary. Okay. Uh, again, that's Saturday, October 26th, and... Um, 
uh, but it's the next two Fridays and Saturdays, and tickets are at SF, tickets.sfcanaries.com. They're all under $20. Wow, so, such yes, a good deal for a great it's night. It's affordable. You go out there, uh, get west entrance, uh, which means not the normal front plate home gate entrance with the big birdcage sign. You'll figure it out when you get there. We have signs. But once you get in, again, uh, for the adults, beer. Uh, <laughs> They mentioned beer, pretzels, <laughs> popcorn, candy for the kids. Uh, eat, drink, and enjoy yourself yeah. along the maze. But watch that beer, that drink, because you, <laughs> you might get spooked. <laughs> you might, might get be some jump scares. Spills, chills, and thrills. Awesome. Yep. Well, thank you so much for being here, John. Thank you. By the way, I dressed up for Halloween today. I, I came as kind of a <laughs> creepy, weird, ugly, dorky uh, baseball promoter. Did I do okay? I think you I did pull all right. it off. All right. I think you got it, John. Good. There I you believe go. you. <laughs> well, stick around. We have more after the break. <laughs> 